Hey, good morning everybody. This is Tom from Small Scale Life. Thought I would show you what the garden's doing. You can see I've got uh, two wicking beds, actually three wicking beds. Got rain gutter grow system system over there with grow bags and then two tanks here. Um, we've got we've got peas over here. There's been not very many videos and stuff. It's just been it's been crazy around here. So we'll go into that in the future here, but I just thought I'd do a quick video. Um, anyway, We've got peas along the trellis here and had a good harvest yesterday. Cleared most of them out, but they still are coming. Oh, Karma the Wonder Dog is saying hello. Uh, so we got peas, they're still coming along. Uh, we've got some parsley here and I'm trying something new. I'm trying some ginger and that's actually popping up, which is kind of cool. Uh, and this is the other, <laughs> I've got uh, broccoli going here. Let me back up. I've got broccoli here, broccoli here, broccoli and cabbage here. And this is a problem that many of us have when we're ah, when you're growing these. You can see the holes in the leaves. This is an indication that we have cabbage worms, cabbage loopers. And here's one here, right there. And on this leaf, I was showing Michael Bell this earlier. There's another one there. So these little hungry buggers eat everything in sight. And even your tiny seedlings can get these cabbage loopers too. So there is one on here. I know it. I saw him earlier. There he is. No. He's on here somewhere. Got the, the dog is jump. There it is. Just that little guy. Very hungry. Oh, I must oh he's on my finger. That's him cabbage looper right there was a cabbage looper but even on your seedlings you can get these small cabbage loopers going and uh, they just eat your plants up cabbage same thing more cabbage looper damage there I was showing Michael Bell this this morning I've got radish over here with us up gone to seed no radish what the heck over so I'm just letting it pollinate. So that's tank one. Got some green onions. Tank two, I've got some peppers along this side. I've got basil in the middle. The basil's actually doing really well. And I've got some tomatoes here on the back row. So I'm not even sure which variety this is. It was, I saved some seed from a friend from last year. These are San Marzano. That's a black cherry right there. Opaca Roma. That's an Opaca Roma. And that's a, I think that's a San Marzano. Nope. These three are Opaca Romas. And then a black cherry is hidden here. So they're coming along. Peppers are finally getting going here. That one's not looking too good. So far, so good. Here is the rain gutter grow system. I've got a number of different peppers going here uh, from yellow bell, lots of yellow bell, red bell, some jalapenos, some dill. Uh, this tomato plant was a gift from my father-in-law and it's a, it's a patio hybrid tomato, so it's gonna be a determinant. It's only gonna get so high, it's gonna set all its fruit and that's it, so. Some more peppers. I think there's red bell. Yep, red bell, red bell. Lots of red bells. Some jalapenos over here. So that's what's happening here in the garden. Oh, uh, there's rhubarb over there. Karma. <laughs> rhubarb over there. But uh, hopefully your gardens are doing great. Um, yeah, I'll catch you all up soon on what's going on. I just don't want to spoil it yet there's a lot of stuff happening uh, I'm gonna be sharing a, a little pollinator right there happy look at all that you can see the pollen sticking right on its right on them there that's great that's the purpose right um, I'll be going into what's going on here um, you know the other thing I would say is check your plants Get rid of these guys. This cabbage looper right here, no good. Get rid of those, they'll eat up your plants. 
in a hurry. And uh, I have a feeling, let's see that little dot here. I have a feeling that's some, that's an egg right there by the other looper. So check your plants. Check your plants. Get rid of those things. You don't want these cabbage loopers. They will destroy your plants. Anyway, this is Tom from Small Scale Life. Hope you all are doing great. We'll catch you real soon. Um, I'll try to put this up on YouTube so you can watch it there as well. And we'll see you real soon. So this is June 27th. Things are rocking. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.